our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Mike Platinum Perry. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here, and keep an eye on that jab of Kamal Usman, right? I don't have to tell a lot of you who are listening tonight that he has gone to great lengths to develop that with Trevor Whitman, and that has really helped him set up his takedowns, but he wants to box tonight. He feels like this matchup is a striking matchup for him. We'll see if he can put those words into action here tonight. Platinum gets hit with a kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How down defense. Huge lands in the first. Alright, good sign early for the boxer landing the uppercut. You can expect the wrestler to start to chain takedowns, but hard to get that done when you got that uppercut in your face. Well, that wrestler better start to create some angles because every time he comes close now, he will see something showing up the middle. It can be knees, but I think that uppercut that he just landed is much safer because it keeps you away. It keeps your hips back so the wrestler can't try to take you down. All right, so there's the takedown from Kamal Usman. We know he has fallen in love with his jab at his hands a little bit, but back to his bread and butter early in this one. Well, that's his roots, right? For as good as he is in the stand-up, for as powerful as the jab is, it's always gonna be the wrestling of Kamal Usman that's gonna lead the day, whether it's offensive or defensive. Kamal Usman will wrestle if he ever wants to be the champion again. Now he's going full mount. He's trying to get to a half guard at least, at minimum. Try to go to half guard. Perry getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Great job landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, big elbow. Just over three minutes to go. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Perry. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. It looks like the arm drag was getting very close. Now he's got to get off to the side, drop his chest to the mat, and get the finish. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Nice punch lands over the top. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Oh, oh he's stunned, trying to recover here. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. That was a slick transition. He's got to be careful here. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the bar. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Kamaru Usman. All right, 
right into side control, upper body strength figure. You can either chase ground and pound or you put a submission. Right now, it looks like he's trying to get to an arm triangle. He needs to push the left arm across and secure it with his head. in that defense. 10 seconds to go in the round. Motioning for his opponents to stand back up here. Oh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive rest. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. He came very, very close to getting that finish, but he wasn't able to get that little extra squeeze to get the finish. But it's okay. Continue to try and put yourself back in those positions to get the job done. All right, so there it is again. Kamal Usman starting to see the takedowns pile up. Nice entry to get that one down. Great job by the former champion to get to the position that he's been known for, at least early in his career. He's developed strikes, but ultimately, he's a wrestler. And he's got to use that wrestling to start everything that he wants to do inside the octagon. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Perry's back in full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Good work, guys, come on. Oh, he got to his spot. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Usman's in half guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Usman. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Working out of the half guard here. There you go, again, half guard. Oh, he's got a choke. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Ooh, arm triangle inching closer now. Oh, looks work, tight work, to me. Work, work, work. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. 
Back to his feet. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Just unable to quite find that range. Big shot to the head. Oh, nice take down the field. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're doing. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punches come. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Five seconds remain in the round. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Secure that head and arm and get the side control. Let's go, go hand down, let's go. Getting the ball here. Oh, he's gotta be careful there, yep. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Usman's in half guard now. Final seconds here of round two. Perry's eye is starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. An elbow! And what a round! High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Five go. minutes to go. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Takedown defense is there. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there for his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. That was perfect, I want more of that. Good work from the top here by Usman. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Kamaru Usman. One on one. A lot of fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up right, or pull his opponent take back into him relax. so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damn. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Job putting himself in position. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Let's go. I need you to pound the Another grounded pound, pound strike lands for this man. Perry getting work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Under three minutes now to go in this third and final round. Harry's in half goal. Let's move to side control. Let's pass. Wow, so somehow, someway in this final round, back to the feet. It's like he played the lottery, John. He got to his feet now. Does his numbers hit? He has got to hit every button. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we'll 
late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the minutes. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. All right, side control now. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Platinum Mike Perry. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You've doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Well, he's got his back now. Changing the position. Under a minute now to go in this one. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Perry getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not gonna bail you out. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Usman's right back to the full mount. Waiting seconds of this fight. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm. Push him oh, he got out. What? We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30 27, 30 26, and 30 27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. All right, so judges' scorecards are needed. They are rendered, and they go to Kamaru Usman, your winner tonight by decision. I thought he fought pretty well tonight. Well, I mean, we knew when his decision was going to be ready, it was going to be Usman. He fought well. He did everything he needed to do in order to earn this victory. Congratulations to the Nigerian Nightmare and his entire team. And of course, most of his UFC fights have been of the championship variety, and this sets him up for a huge opportunity later this year. Congrats to a good man right there, Kamara Usman.